Okay. Hello to Superbooth 23. We are here on the last day of every the days of Superbooth. <laughs> of everything of the earth. Uh, yeah. And when you are here with uh, Audio, who recently showed us a new synthesizer. This is Steam. You Hello. know him. Hello. <laughs> uh, and this is the wonderful Mugulator, my buddy in crime here with uh, our little show. How are you doing? Yeah, fine. Great. great. A, bit, a bit exhausted, but fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, we saw the Anima Fee. Yeah. Some, I think it's four or three years now. Two years ago. Really? Yeah. Okay. And now you got something completely new and bigger. Yeah, slightly bigger. So it's, so it's slightly we had crowd, bigger, yeah. you, we, you, you had the crowdfunding and you really uh, did it. Yeah. And uh, uh, one part was met. And uh, we see your uh, Anima Omega, which is, uh, which is the new name for the big machine. Uh, there's a desktop and a keyboard, mm -hmm. and the keyboard has polyphonic aftertouch, which is which is one of the perks. So, so you've reached more than you expected or you wanted from all of us. And now it's time uh, adapting uh, all the things. Uh, I've heard something with the display it seems to ha yeah. has to be corrected because. It could not be delivered or be, something. Be, because, of, because of supply tr trouble, but uh, past life, <laughs> actually. But yeah, it's it's fixed now. But we have to 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 redesign some board to to fix it. So, mm -hmm. but let's let's start uh, first things first. Uh, what is it? It's it's actually it's not a modular system, but it's uh, it has three oscillators. It has a, a multitude of effects. It's uh, about five effects, five effects yeah. uh, 16 or 20, uh, 32 modulation slots, yeah. and uh, everything can be assigned to it. Why, uh, before, on the small one, you had an editor yeah. where you can click on other things. But the new thing is you have a really big display, that one. <laughs> uh, and <laughs> now you can do it on the machine, and it... Uh, is no longer monophonic or uh, paraphonic. Uh, it's really 16 voice polyphonic so this time. Mick explained everything now. So <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, but, yeah but we, we're in here. <laughs> so, do you want That's a job? We are talking. <laughs> do you want a job without you to explain how yeah, products? Yeah, yeah. I need a job. <laughs> no drugs job. <laughs> okay. Um, so, yeah. yeah. So, this is where it starts. Yeah, yeah. So the the Anima Omega is the bigger brother of the Fee with uh, 16 notes of polyphony, and uh, also with uh, four sound is cards. It dynamic? Is it? Will it change when you ch uh, use other modules or other uh, resonators, oscillators, or is it always fixed 16 voices? The, the thing, the, the arrangement is you have to set up how many voices you will assign to each part. Because ah, it okay. won't dynamically change, it would be much more complicated than. So each each part means you are four. Vo uh, f you have four. Yeah, uh, uh, you slot? will be you will be available to have one voice for a monophonic part, and then split uh, the the fifteen voice remaining to three other parts, for example. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's multi-temporal. Yes. Yeah. Four voice multi timbral, and I I remember those knobs or those uh, 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 switches. They remind a bit of uh, clavier ones. Yeah, I think this is the same. these. Uh, so uh, it's, it's, one. A, it's a good thing because the clavier one was also it was a modular, but you can't, couldn't edit it on the box. On yours, you can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can edit everything on the box, and uh, you can uh, edit the, the, the performance with a um, uh, different part and assign uh, where you want to to have them. And you you can also edit every parameters of each patch. 
So you, you have the performance screen when you can set up all your four sounds. You can uh, easily transpose your sounds, easily make your split points, your your set up your velocity range to have uh, layers. Uh, you can also uh, uh, set up the MIDI routings and audio routings very easily on the performance screen. And then if you want to edit each sound, you just have to go out the performance mode and select the sound that you want to edit. So can you also use it as some kind of master keyboard for, for MIDI stuff? Or is it made for using... Yeah, it's probably. Yeah. That's a good idea. Yeah, <laughs> since it's not far far away from that. Uh, um, and maybe you, you should maybe explain a bit how it works uh, to work with it. Uh, I did, the... but it's better to have something to start uh, where to start. Everyone here may may have seen my uh, video, but it's for it's a German, so maybe it's better <laughs> to re-explain the, the 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 basic things. That's how it works. Especially, I didn't know anything. Tell me what it's all yeah, about. Uh, 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 your, your synthesis en engine and uh, what makes it special in kind of ways or something. Ah, so yeah, yeah. The 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 Anima engine. You, you, so you 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 got physical modeling synthesis. So you've got several models. Uh, you can uh, choose uh, different uh, string models, different block models, different packs of models, different woodwind models, because we first met the Silphio, that is an electronic wind controller and an electronic wind instrument. So we've got woodwind models, and we also got a more traditional uh, subtractive synthesis uh, virtual analog oscillators. So you can blend all those uh, sources, those oscillators. You've got three oscillators, uh, per patch, plus the audio input, and you can blend all that to uh, feed, for example, resonators. We've got string resonators with sympathetic strings. We've got model resonators. We've got a snare resonator too, and we also got more traditional stuff uh, for subtractive synthesis like uh, uh, ladder filters or SVF filters, etc., etc. We've got. Uh, about uh, at this time, uh, 45 different, yeah, more, more than 40, more than 40 different oscillator models mm. and uh, 47 different SFX models. And we've got uh, uh, 16 modulators mm. per patch, and uh, <laughs> as you said, uh, 32 mapping slots that the mapping slots we we don't want it to call that the modulation matrix yeah. but that's mm -hmm. a modulation matrix because we use the word matrix for the macro parameter matrix mm -hmm. that lets you morph between uh, okay. two states of the sound so we call that mappings and also because our mappings are not only just patch codes because of course you can set up a source and a destination mm -hmm. but you can also and uh, an amount of modulation, but you can also set a minimum and a maximum to that modulation. You can apply a curve. If you don't want to stay in a linear relationship, you can be more logarithmic or more exponential. And you can also, you can smooth that signal and you can also uh, make a sidechain. So you are, you are controlling a sound parameter with a controller depending on another parameter. So that's very powerful. And that's a very convenient way to have a more instrumental, a more natural relationship with your instrument and with sound synthesis. Yeah, and, and things you can do is things like you have one, uh, oscillator and yeah. that goes through a snare resonator so as if you can uh, and that makes interesting noises if you don't use it as it was meant to be yeah. <laughs> and then you can add anything in that that's called an effect but basically is one of the of the signal manipulation yeah. uh, things you can just slot in and then you can use it that's it and that's and that's the cool thing <laughs> on it, yeah. uh, which I think uh, I see you're very excited about this product. <laughs> so um, it sounds like, especially with the models, you don't uh, have to be the uh, master in, in in physical modeling 
to to edit it or to uh, create your own sounds because you already have a, a, a good starting point. Is this is this a way to say it? Yeah, you have uh, the, the main parameters necessary to, to manipulate each type of uh, uh, resonator, or you, you've got the essential of any of the uh, physical modeling oscillators mm. also. So uh, the, most of the work is already done, and then you combine them. Ah, that's cool. But can you go uh, in the models and, and, and tweak them? Yeah, there, like, there, there's a few parameters you can edit from the models, and then we provide more models time after time. So, ah, cool. So there is a potential aftermarket uh, sales, or is it, will it? Yeah, be we we we're, we are still working on new oscillators type, new uh, resonator types, and so on. So to to add to the to the list. Ah, cool. Fine. So physical modeling for uh, it done easy. In, in, in some regards. Not for us, but for our user. <laughs> yeah, for, not for the user. That's a perfect point because of uh, what you said. Not for you, because uh, physical modeling is not the easiest uh, uh, type of um, synthesis. Mm -hmm. So uh, what was the biggest uh, uh, challenge uh, to implement it in, in this big of form factor? Oh, yeah. So <laughs> it's really... It would was to, to have uh, enough CPU power to, to have these 16 voices of course. and uh, also to, to manage uh, this physical modeling and, and uh, de detect the, the, the limit. You, you, you don't have to overpass to, to spoil the, the model, actually, mm -hmm. and limit it to what is useful. Well. And uh, another thing is that we have to... Unlike on the Anima fee, where it's a, a little box and we provide the free editor, if you want to, you can edit all the, the things directly from the box, but you can also use the editor if you want to see all your parameters uh, at a time. But on the Omega, we wanted to have more shortcuts to go very fast, to go into the synthesis architecture, because that's also a, a semi-modular architecture. So you have to uh select very very fast your oscillators or models or different sfx mm -hmm. and and also uh, be uh, be very uh fast to select your shortcuts for the 16 modulators and for the the 32 mapping slots yeah yeah uh, maybe you should, we should talk about these modulators which are, because it uh it may be underestimate what it can do because there's a slow LFO, there's a very fast LFO, there is Euclidean sequences and there's things you might not expect like you can uh, a bouncing ball, ball, bouncing, balls, yeah. bouncing ball triggers and things like this. Uh, they may come from uh, your original approach uh, being a physical modeling synth. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we wanted to have physical mod modeling in sound sources, also in resonators, and then also, obviously, in uh, modulators. That just makes sense for us. So. Uh, maybe we, you, you should mention some some of these uh, modulators to, to to have an impression of what 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 can be done with anything. Uh, maybe, as you have said there's uh, one module and you can really imagine there's some parameters then you, uh, that you can adjust that are on the display when you have it uh, open as normal, normal uh, uh, modular synth. Uh, and then you have all these modules. So in this case, what's about, what about those modules? Uh, what, what's, uh, what's in there exactly? And uh, what can you do? There's multiple trigger lines uh, were in the uh, anime fee how how did it uh, how is it in the in the new one because it's polyphonic and there should be something different or is it multiple <laughs> buses that can be triggered and stuff like that how, 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 how do you work with this currently it's just uh, like if, if you add 16 anime fee together so each has you just have the same features uh, split it on, uh, on the 16 uh, voices, and then we look at what makes sense to have in common and what makes sense to have to keep separate. So, so if, 
Yeah. Just one thing, one thing that is exclusive to the desktop versions is that we added the ribbon, the ribbons and the touchpad. So that's a kind of a piezo sensor that you have on the Anima Fee on steroids because the piezo sensor is now acting as a percussive interface, but with a control interface, uh, one dimension or two dimensions for the ribbon. Yeah, let's see. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Uh, two and two or three dimensions for the touchpad of the keyboard version. Yeah, and uh, one one other thing is that uh, you you've got uh, on the Anima Fee just only one stereo in and one stereo out, but you've got two pairs of stereo ins and two pairs of stereo outs on the Omega versions. Yeah. So there uh, may be uh, things like. Um, an envelope follower and then uh, stuff like that so you can use it and apply it to any module yeah there's ver various version of the envelope follower to to uh, get some control signal out of audio signals so, so to uh, one is uh, looking for this frequency the spectrum of a, of a audio signal and will have a di different behavior from the the other one which is just using the, the, the main uh, audio sig signal level. So you, we have various uh, uh, three, three different envelope followers so far. And what, what, another one is also dedicated to percussive sound, also to, to, to try trick drum sounds and things like that. So, mm. Yeah, on, on the Anima Fee, I have even a little spot where you can just uh, tip Tell on it and, and, and yeah. trigger uh, things. Uh, uh, yeah, there is it's three or four uh yeah triggers you can set and can even send them to the mod to other modules yeah, yeah which is really interesting because you can do something that happens within the sound that has a different triggering so you could trigger some 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 envelope from yeah, yeah that bouncing ball or something like that yeah <laughs> Ah, he's smiling. <laughs> uh, uh, ju do you just laugh because I know your product? <laughs> you, you, you know it very well. Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's really excited about his product. So, uh... <laughs> yeah, this, this is a good thing because we, we both have uh, some products that are uh, completely different. But we get completely crazy about it. <laughs> it's really good to see. Yeah, we have not the only one who raves about Laurent, Laurent, who no. has, uh, and he's totally fascinated. I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> it's, always, it's always, it, it needs to be French at the moment. It, has, it needs to be French. <laughs> yeah, there's a, a reoccurring thing at the moment with the French guys. <laughs> but one thing for really, 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 Dumb but important question for someone who doesn't know how does it sound? How does it oh. actually feel? It's it's yeah. not like a, a um it's not a it's, it's not, not an excess virus or something. It, it's it's something different. So and it's not even a not modular because you could compare it, but it's completely different. But how does it sound? Or how does it feel? How does it feel? <laughs> so that's that's very difficult without a demo of the yes, instrument. Yeah, and that's the funny but, thing about it. But so, yeah, yeah. But you 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 may think as a as a a hybrid a hybrid between a a synthesizer and an, an acoustic instrument. The, uh, I I just can't say that. Yeah. Yeah, that, uh, but that's very exciting too for us to to hear that that type of sound. The the Anima Fee is already very powerful to make that kind of sounds, and with the polyphonic versions, that's very exciting. And with when you are stacking different patches on the Omega, wow, that that's becoming very huge. Yeah. So let's let's repeat this. It's multi timbre yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Four, four sound parts. You've got four, four different times. sound parts on the Anima Omega. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just to repeat this uh, to to uh, and anyone. you can you can also uh, yeah, you, so you you can split your parts. You can yellow, uh, layer it, but you can also chain the mm -hmm. patch. The patches, the the different sound parts. So ah. one one part can uh, uh, feed another part. 
So, so you you can use one part to have uh, your 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 FX uh, your FX stuff or be dedic have dedicated patches to to make FX and uh, you, you can send one patch to so that's becoming even more powerful with that uh, so you could make one thing that's generating a really big wall of sound and then process it through uh, the body of a violin and then through a snare and then uh, some reverb and uh, so you have it all mixed up with yeah. something else. You have yeah. effects in yeah. there. Hmm? You have effects in there. Effects, sorry, yeah. in in the box. What what I, I did um, didn't hear. Side effects. Side effects. 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 Yeah. 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 Uh, the yeah. answer is yes. Yeah. <laughs> Which kind of? So, so so you have chorus, phasers, so classical effects. Mm -hmm. But also, resonator can also be used as an effect, and you can also decide to put. For example, the chorus at the beginning, and then mm -hmm. filter, and then the resonator. And you choose the, the order of the, the various elements. For us, uh, uh, sound processing module are just. It can be FX. It can be. Uh, it can be a filter or a filter so. yeah. or resonator, anything, and you can order the things with, with complete freedom. So mm. maybe I just uh, yeah. ask these questions because not everybody knows about it, and. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, to, to, to make it more a little bit more clear. Maybe the, the, uh, if you compare to uh, standard synth, the, 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 the difference is that there is no difference between a reverb or a resonator or a filter or something else. You can mm. uh, uh, put everything in and then it's a chain uh, of five uh, things that will be processed and uh, with three up to three oscillators which that you should imagine it like uh, uh, some remind me of mutable instruments kind of uh, uh, elements uh, stuff of uh, like this uh, and like how it sounds uh, and that's one of those oscillator models so you uh, Im uh, that's uh, one of a lot of oscillator models and then you can put it into the effects which are actually not just effects but <laughs> yes. and stuff like that <laughs> so is this approximately that what it does or is there more in principle i think you're right yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mugulata got it <laughs> so um when will it be available again? Okay, so we expect to have uh, hopefully uh, the first unit available for the, for the backup from the campaign, hopefully in September, mm -hmm. at least before the end of the year, depending on uh, uh, any uh, new uh, problems that drop could yeah, be occur, okay, yeah. And, uh, and then uh, we, we expect to have it available in shops next year. Ah, nice. We, we, uh, these, the the editor of for the uh, anima fee be the same or will there be an editor or is it simply not needed because it's everything on the box? You you will keep the same editor, but yeah. maybe we will add something for the uh, performance management also. Hmm. Uh, so it uh, maybe looks uh, quite the same. Uh, it, it's color coded to uh, watch uh, or to have. It's easy to see. Maybe um, bases are red and 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 strings are green yeah, or something. Like that. Categories we mm. we we use colors to to categorize our sounds. So the, the green sounds are the the strings uh, strings models or string and mm -hmm. string world. Uh, the red ones are more uh, keyboards or classic synthesizer things, etc. etc. Yellow yellow ones are percussive models. So oh. and the uh, last ones we are the the purple ones with the percussive sensors <laughs> and uh, the gray ones with the audio input uh, signal with a uh, low fee effect. So uh, I, I made the last one where Doppler effects or sli stereo slicers. Uh, oh, cool. That kind of thing. Doppler effect. What is really interesting when I uh, make a new patch, it creates something random <laughs> normally, yeah. which is really, really crazy because something 
something <laughs> come comes up. Uh, I didn't find uh, a simple uh, init patch, no, uh, which is really different from others since I ever had. So, uh, uh, what's behind that? Oh, no. is it just uh, something I I I missed? Because if you, <laughs> that's really really inco uncommon. It's like you create a new patch. Sometimes you just like it and have it a few tweaks. But that's how it works. <laughs> so you 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 have you have uh, init patches on uh, on empty slots, but uh, you you we. You you can find in the anima fee and you have that on the panel of the Omega, the Alia generator. So that's a, a kind of a smart random. So uh, that's because the the physical modeling synthesis is very complex. If you go in full random, you will have noises. Uh, I, I think eighty or ninety percent of the time. So we we made a kind of a smart random that is a uh, learning from different patches from different recipes of the of the physical modeling patches so that's why you you can have a, 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 some patches that uh, are, are are already so sounds good already sounds good <laughs> with uh, with that function yeah there's yeah. a real starting point that's really uh, that's why i asked this these questions but basically when you have physical modeling and uh, FM, you will uh, get really uh, uh, um, soon, if you don't know what to do, just crap out of it. So this is a good thing to have. Yeah, then you've got a, a good, hopefully a good starting point. Yeah. And if it, you, you just have to decide if it's inspiring enough for you to, to, to go deeper and tweak things mm. or press the button once again. So. Yeah, nice. Um, so, so um, before we uh, um, do anything else, tell us about the story. How does this happen? How occurred uh, uh, audio as a company? Where do you come from? And where comes the knowledge? Where's the, where, from where so come, where comes it all started then? <laughs> okay. <laughs> So we are based in the north of France, uh, in the near from Lille. Uh, the story started in, uh, back in uh, 2011. So I, I was figuring out uh, what to do next in my uh, business uh, in my, in, as a job mm. and uh, started to think about what I can do next and why not trying to do something new. Mm. Uh, I was preparing the foundation of, of a company for that. And uh, at some point, I met Romain. Uh, and, and we, we had some uh, uh, discussion about, yeah, we, we were thinking about a, a new synthesizer, but we, we need something new to, to, to show off uh, with it, the synthesizer and uh, to, to make it distinctive uh, to, to, to others. And uh, we just felt uh, uh, we need an, an ex a new accessory for it. And uh, as uh, I'm, I'm a former clarinet, clarinet player, Romain plays saxophone also. So the obvious way was to go uh, towards wind controllers. Mm. So at some points, the accessories take over the initial pro project. So we first uh, built the, the wind controller, which is the CFU, which at, at the start was the wind controller. During the, this uh, preparation phase, we, we met other people, uh, especially Ludovic and uh, Jonathan, who, who were more involved in mechanical and uh, ergonomical for, for, for one of them, and coding also. And uh, uh, together, we, we started building the, the, the Silvio. Uh, at first, it was just a, a MIDI controller. And uh, at some point, people uh, were requesting uh, it to be standalone. So we built a small card to fit inside and to have a synthesizer inside. Mm. And the best option to, to, to match with uh, wind controller would, was physical to, modeling. to, to yeah. go right. toward physical modeling. So that's the start of the story for, for 
for, for, for the synthesizer by audio. And then at some point, there was a small uh, virus around, <laughs> and uh, which uh, kind of spoiled uh, any uh, chance to, to test and, uh, and sail uh, wind controllers. And uh, we, we just figured out it would be uh, fun to extract this synthesizer from the wind controller and provide it to other users. Mm. And uh, this was the start for the Anemiafi, which uh, get way, way, way further than <laughs> because uh, we had to, to, to manage uh, percussive uh, mm. models, uh, strings models, and so on, which was not necessary inside the, 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 the initial uh, synthesizer of, 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 of the of the uh, uh, The first version was a bit more uh, classic, so to say. Uh, I think it was the first firmware, and then you I had an update, and that was a really really huge uh, uh, thing because there were so many uh, new things added, uh, and that. Um, uh, maybe uh, did you change your mind about who is going to using your uh, instruments because the more acoustic uh, people seem not to be so uh, experimental. Sometimes it's like on the Yamaha ones, uh, VL series and stuff like that. All the uh, WX players may expect it should sound like in a, like a saxophone, but we. Synth guys mostly want to shape our sounds uh, as we are and as as strange and sick as our brains are. And that, uh, <laughs> it it seems to me that you you got into that with firmware too. And uh, how did you come to uh, yeah learn about that? Because we were talking about that. I, I think it was. Two years ago, or so, something when I met you uh, over there <laughs> at that place, and then we, uh, I found it very, really interesting what you were thinking at the moment, and, and then you mm. had the idea of the these uh, of the uh, editor and stuff like what we need. I would really like to to know uh, uh, what, what you learned at that time. Yeah, but it's also from uh, user feedback requesting some new features and just check if, if you can add it and, and then if it's possible, just add it. So this is part of, of, of the journey. So to, to, to have uh, some feedback and also what we miss at first and, uh, and uh, just uh, put on, on all before we can do it. So and also you, you, you needed a few things to, 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 to provide new sounds, so you just request it. So. Yeah, yeah, because uh, as I'm doing the sound design, I'm, <laughs> I, I've also got a lot of ideas to, <laughs> to bring new sounds. So that's very challenging for, for Laurent, for Jonathan to... But to, to just, bring these new tools, yeah. Yeah, it's normally the, the, the thing when uh, you got your own uh, uh, project, okay, and then other people come to you and say, ah, oh, can it do that? Can it, would it be possible to uh, implement the other thing, maybe? So how does it feel for you when you uh, uh, um, get requests that are... Uh, bring you uh, uh, to a completely new level of the instrument, so so to speak, because the, the, the update was completely uh, a game changer for many people. Was it really the, the mandatory about the, the feedback from the users and, and your colleagues? Yeah, it's just the feedback and you, you, you kind of get things from this feedback and, and then you you elaborate what you can do in, inside and, and, and check what happens also. Mm. And we, we often have also some surprise of what we get, and, but often good surprise, so we keep it also. So. Mm. But there's many recipes that can, can, that can be inspired also from modular, modular or rock modular and so on. So there's many original things over there, and uh, it's, it's a good idea to test also them. We, we started with modular because the, the first sounds that were made for the Silfio were 
uh, were patched on a uh, modular with mutable instruments <laughs> <laughs> modules. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But it's not uh, the the same code. To be clear. Yeah, some of the codes are we we read the codes and it was um, how do you say it um, transformed to and uh, rewritten to 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 change things and uh, to to be able to manage many different modules and make them work together inside our platform also. So everything uh, has changed to some points and often gets really far from the, the start, but yeah. Uh, so you uh, are <laughs> already implemented uh, the drumming thing will be <laughs> the drum machine with physical modeling. Oh, we, we, this is the <laughs> reoccurring uh, joke that we do uh, when we'll become, uh, when it comes to uh, a drum machine <laughs> from your company. <laughs> <laughs> Even if even uh, Waldorf ha has to answer, <laughs> so yeah, w would be funny yeah. for the machine. Yeah, yeah. You already maybe one day. Have to, maybe one day. You already have the polyphonic things. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We we have uh, other ideas for for that thing. <laughs> so we we are more looking into percussive instruments. Mm -hmm. So, not not uh, yeah, not a classic drum machine, but uh, yeah, yeah, you got a thing. <laughs> yeah, why not? Yeah, there are uh, um, so less at the moment on uh, uh, um, hand-driven uh, uh, drum uh, uh, drum brains, mm -hmm. or what you will call. Hmm? Yeah, that's not that much. Yes, I think. What was the last one Roland did, I think, oh? I don't know. <laughs> uh, something different, which is maybe uh, sometimes ask uh, uh, sampling. Oh, <laughs> I... I know someone, I know someone who was asking for that. <laughs> <laughs> because sometimes uh, I, I, um, it's the background behind, behind it. There has been a lot of requests on the uh, Clavia uh, modular and the G2, mm -hmm. and uh, it had a lot of things, but no, no but sampling. No sampling. Uh, and we, um, the biggest question was always, yeah, could, could, is it technically uh, technically possible, or is it really hard to uh, introduce some file systems? This is more to you as a. Uh, as a de developer, basically, is it possible to make it, or is it just not? Uh, does it not fit in a product when when someone asks for that? Uh, just, it's, it's a really a strange question, but it was so often asked uh, about modulars or things that can do so many things. Why why is sampling so, so different? <laughs> The, the the question of the of the sampling technology is very difficult for us because uh, at the, the 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 starting of the Silvio, for example, uh, we we had a choice to integrate some to 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 work with samples or to work with physical modeling synthesis, and we we thought that physical modeling synthesis, even though it wasn't as quite as the original instruments was bringing us a real instrumental relationship mm. so those sounds are very responsive so and and that's why the the anima phi and the anima omegas are so good sounding synthesizers because you have this response you have this instrumental re relationship that is very interesting for us and for the samples uh, uh I think that you are working with dead sounds. <laughs> you, so, you, yeah. you, you can animate yeah. them, yes, but for us, that's the we, we made the choice of the physical modeling synthesis. Yeah, it should be organic and uh, alive and breathing, and that's yeah. of course what uh, samples don't uh, aren't, uh, can't do. So that's it's more uh, yeah, let's call it a political thing because where you come from. Uh, makes 
absolutely sense. <laughs> so it's uh, it's just a question because everyone everyone asks uh, this uh, mostly on 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 engines that uh, that can do a lot. No one asks for that uh, in in in, in an SH one one or something that everyone could play, and maybe that would suit better because why not adding a sampling oscillator to some quite simple instruments? But in this case, you already have FM in it. You have a uh, really complex uh, stuff. Uh, uh, so it, it, to me, it makes sense. But uh, technically, it, it would be possible, I think. Because so for why not? for yeah. the NMFE, it will be complicated because yeah. there's not enough memory for it. Yeah. So that's the point. For, for the Omega, we'll see. It, um, what kind of processing processors are in uh, in a machine like that? So for the NMFE, it's uh, just uh, STM32. And for the Omega, let's see. Ah, okay. <laughs> yeah, we have nerds listening, so <laughs> they, they want to know. Yeah. Uh, and it's, uh, yeah, it, is it programmed uh, in, in C++ or some no that, normal that, that's language? It. It's uh, C++. Yeah, so it's uh, quite uh, straight. And uh, um, is, is there anything you had to... Uh, be uh, careful about uh, making the hardware. Yeah. What 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 what, what, what do you need to uh, or what what did what was hard to uh, make that hardware doing what you want? Oh, because were there are any of us all in uh, the, 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 the hardware was to uh, do what we were doing with one voice. With 16 voice, so it which requires much more, and, yeah. much more power, and uh, we made some choice, but uh, to uh, to be able to manage that, which implies using multiple processor, mm -hmm. because there was no uh, new processor running in it, uh, uh, quick enough to just say, okay, we are running the same code, mm -hmm. but just faster, or even or uh, at least uh, now it doesn't exist. So, so we have to use multiple core, ju just like uh, what we did, uh, we, what you can see on, on, on PC also. So, yeah. Okay. Uh, we come near uh, the end, the end. Uh, <laughs> sadly. <laughs> sadly enough, Bill, but I think we will hear about you very soon. Especially when when the thing is out, so yeah, <laughs> <laughs> will be really cool to see uh, Mick uh, testing it. <laughs> what uh, what what uh, is your really 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 next uh, plan in the really close uh, future? So Hello. this is finish I, Omega. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's my main point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But and, but while working on the Omega, we're also working on also new oscillator type and so on, and yeah. this will uh, go back to the yeah, yeah. also to the CSU, so, yeah. Have you learned something from, from the super booth? Oh, don't drink too much. Uh, or <laughs> simply, what, what is your impression? That's a lot easier to answer. <laughs> then we, we met uh, all our, a lot of amazing people, very interesting and very interested uh, with you. Uh, our instruments. Uh, that's a pleasure to talk with people just like you that uh, know our instruments very well, and that's very impressive. And uh, we are very, very pleased to to bring these new instruments to to make music live and to to make the thing going on. So yeah, that's a uh, to listen to their music. Yeah. 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 Mm. Yeah. No, no. Okay, let's yeah just uh, say Thank goodbye you. because Bye. you were the last and best and uh, of uh, of our series of of uh, developer talks, uh, developer yeah. talks uh, under this label and uh, maybe we could see you again when it's ready. Yeah, and you can really show us, and uh, we don't have to talk. You just have. Cryptically. And just press the button <laughs> yeah. and play it to us. Yeah.
and, and show what it is. Yeah. 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 yeah, absolutely. You're welcome. Yeah. And yeah. I would really like to see how it, how it looks like and what you have to do uh, and uh, what, what what you can do. Uh, and it's it's a lot of a lot more easy uh, to see. Uh, we had the same on on uh, Noron because it's sometimes there's hard so to, much hard going on at the same time. And uh, I explained it like uh, <laughs> a video game. So you have level one, everything on the <laughs> surface, and then you go down the rabbit hole and play through uh, the next level and next level. And there is, yeah. especially with the uh, um, morphing stuff. Uh, yeah. And so I think there is a lot of potential in, in sound creation. It sounds really cool. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Merci beaucoup. Merci. And thank you for watching and see you soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you. Yeah, you survived it. <laughs>